because of I did just that. But then, somehow I'm sure I got somewhere along this journey um, that demand for an answer got to me and got to my attention. And uh, I finally did get some relief, or I don't even remember. It doesn't matter. The bottom line was I did get only one part of an answer <laughs> at one point. And that was to tell him that I would be out in two weeks, um, March 15th, which was just three days ago. And I was out on March 15th, three days ago. I just knew it. I knew intuitively. I had that knowing. I knew that my inner being had given me that date. I had no other answer besides that date. And like I said, it was two weeks from when I had said that. I still had no money, no place to go, no answer whatsoever. Um, I just kept staying in alignment the best I could and watched all kinds of wonderful things in my life unfold and so many orchestrations and things between my son and I and all around me but no answer um, just knowing that it's done just to allow it and let's see went through a lot um, so it was really, it's really rather funny to me and hilarious too how just giving him that date totally <laughs> was what he wanted. I mean, he was like, oh, thank you, thank you so much. Now I can go forward. Now I know what, that I can go forward in, with my plans. And I was like, just by giving him a date, wow. But anyway, <laughs> that's what happened. Um, and I felt good about it for a while. Um, then I, again, I don't even know, all, it doesn't matter, all the components, I don't need to backtrack the whole story, but um, somehow, about, let's see, it was April 7th, um, I found out last night by looking at my past videos, um, that I let it all get to me. Um, it was just was felt like too much, and you know, it just was, and I spiraled down, came crashing down, and felt really depressed, and so, um, and I was, yeah, this is part of it too, was I was doing everything that I know from my past experiences works for me to raise my vibration, and honestly, none of it was really working. Um, it was, it was really a learning, a new, it, it brought me to a new place, a new expanded place of surrender and of just completely letting go of trying and efforting to align, to get in alignment. And I understand, I understand from through the experience a lot more about focusing how it's not focusing my thoughts at all and that all I have to do I mean it, it helped me to let go of um, what my friend Maureen and I are calling our habit of determination of determining to be in alignment of intending of taking this stance you know and it just really softened my whole way of approaching creating my reality and allowing. It forced me to surrender and not to surrender my desires, but to surrender not only how those and, des and what those desires will manifest like, but ha it's helped me to surrender um, just being in the vortex and being in alignment and how to maintain and manage my vibration. So anyways, wow, I had no idea I was going to say all this. Um, so about that time, let's see, on the, the 7th, which means I'm now down to like a week before I have to leave. And I still don't have any answers. My son doesn't have any answers. Um, to add to that, he was trying, he was applying, if you all have been watching the video, he had been applying for um, college at Southern Oregon University. And there's some video here 
that I'm going to post in his um, experience of that. But he got turned down and um, he went through probably a day of depression himself over that. He was really ex hoping and expecting to uh, stay in Ashland, he loves it here, and to go to the university. Um, and he was going through a lot of other things as well. He's on quite an amazing journey of his own. And uh, anyways, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, so about that day, like I said, it was like seven days, a week before I had to be out, feeling depressed. Nothing seems to be working. I don't know how I got to this space, but I got to this space where I decided to just pick up the video camera and go for a walk. Um, the th only thing that was lighting up for me, we use that, Maureen and I often use that term, whatever's lighting up or your highest excitement or whatever feels good in that moment, you just follow it and it leads you to the next and the next. So anyways, it felt good to go for a walk, grab my video camera and I told her I was going to record anything that improves my overall general mood. That's where I was at. I was like, I didn't really care about manifesting anything or alignment. I just wanted to improve my general mood. Any sense of relief whatsoever. Grabbed that video camera and went for a walk. Uh, funny because that's also the day that my son kept videotaping as well. It kept snowing off and on and melting. It was just a crazy kind of wacky weather day. And uh, on that walk, which I'm going to just share with you, I'm going to upload it next. So what you're about to see next is me reaching for relief quite out of the vortex. Um, actually pretty depressed and I normally would not I would normally not be in that state and I would probably not normally think I would share it but I feel guided to I feel like somehow I know it helped me re-seeing it um, instead of deleting it and I'm just thinking that feeling guided that it's gonna uplift or help somebody else so anyways and it kind of feels good just to be open and real and authentic you know I'm not always playful and happy and joyful um, <laughs> in this journey of consciousness and expansion. Wished I was and I know things always work out but this is it so I'm going to share that now.